music making from the off in transition year. Since John has covered vocal warm ups in the second segment, I am looking at a body percussion activity mixed with some melody. For this presentation, I asked David Kennedy to produce something to visually scaffold the ideas that I had for this activity tonight. This was to allow for graphic cues for you and for your students in your online classes going forward to follow. This activity consists of three performance parts, two body percussion parts and a vocal or instrumental part. Each of these parts are layered and come in at different times throughout the performance. This is a simple activity, but it teaches a lot. It is especially useful for complete beginners to music in TY that may be unfamiliar with reading music notation, experiencing music, performing music, or dealing with simple rhythm and melody, as it is their first time taking music as a classroom subject. This activity is a great entry to TY music from the off, and students who are less in the know about music have great fun with the kinesthetic approach to learning. Here in the book, the three parts are done out with practice videos for students to watch and copy or play and sing along to. When the parts are practiced and allocated, up next is the performance. For online classes, the multi-track music machine allows students to see their rhythm and melody patterns and when to join and exit the performance. It gives them the idea of a karaoke or sing and play along activity to have fun with, at the same time practicing some fundamental basics of notation and rhythm. I'll just pause a moment to allow you time to hear and see the activity in action. On the following book pages, you will see the uses of this activity for TY students. I'm just going to focus on three points for this first pedagogy page. When it comes to an introduction to harmony or backing chords, students could be taught the D and A chords on ukulele to accompany the melody presented in this exercise to build up their performing and listening skills. Secondly, looking at another fun activity, students could compose a 16 line rap using the two basic rhythm patterns in this activity as a backing track to perform their rap along to. Lastly, limiting students singing and composing to notes of the pentatonic scale can allow them more control over what they sing and compose, as at times students new to music can be overwhelmed by new experiences and challenges. You will see more examples in John's book of pentatonic work. Continuing on, there are further ideas for composing and listening presented in the book that could set the groundwork in place for both students new to music and those thinking of continuing their study of music for senior cycle. I find listening to be an important activity within music education and can see myself using the multi-track music machine as an introductory activity to the layering of sounds within a piece of music. Take, for example, the pop set works. By giving TY students an opportunity to engage their ears by posing direct listening questions to first the multi-track music machine and then onto the works by Queen or the Beatles will allow students a chance to experience and analyse music in a different way. 
from first performing music in layers and then on to hearing the different layers present in other music. These are just some ideas for TY music that may be done with your TY students. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this performance activity and can see a use for it in your classroom.